Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my Illustrator CS5 tutorial and review. Here I'm going to show you all the new tools that are available to you with Illustrator CS5. One of the most interesting new tools available to you with CS5 is the Perspective Grid. You get it by clicking on View, Perspective Grid, and if it wasn't showing, it would say Show Grid, and you would click on that. Now, what's neat about it is, let's say I want to take this smiley face and stick it on the side here completely in perspective. Well, it's real easy. All I do is, first off, open up the grid, then come over here and click on Perspective Selection Tool, drag it, and it's going to go completely in perspective right there on your screen. Well, another neat tool that's not new to CS5, but it's a tool that I don't think people use enough because they don't understand it. I'm going to select this image, go to Live Trace, and then instead of Make, I'm going to go to Tracing Options. Then I'm going to select in the preset over here, Color, High Fidelity and then click on Trace. It's going to give me an illustrated version of the photo that I use right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it, convert it into a Live Paint item. Go to Live Paint, click on Make. Automatically does that for me. Now I could actually go in and select all these different colors, make changes to any of them, and, but what I'm going to do here instead is to drag this image over and throw it in perspective on the side of this grid. Go to Perspective Selection Tool. Got it right here, and I can drag this over. It's going to automatically resize it and throw it on the side of the perspective grid for me. Now, if I scale it, it automatically provides that while at the same time still keeping it in perspective. And you can do this with any image or item that is created with paths. Another new tool available to you with Illustrator CS5 is the ability to create custom brushes. And how you would do that, let's just create a general path like that. Now what I can do by going into the width tool, click on that, is select it automatically creates new points within that path and edit it any way that I want, just like this. Now I'm just playing around with it right here just to show you the tool as quickly as possible, but you can do some really neat little brush strokes with it. Okay, let's say that you really like this in and out sort of brush stroke. Go click up here, click on save, give it a name, Click OK. Now let's say we want to apply this brush stroke to the smiley face. Select the smiley face, then go up here, find your new brush you created. See it says random too. Click on it. And it'll give you some different interesting brush strokes. Again, just like anything in Illustrator, the more you play with it, the more you're going to be able to create more interesting things. And I'm going through this tutorial mainly for speed. Another really neat feature is Illustrator provides you with the ability to actually paint inside of any item. So let's say I wanted to draw inside of this fire truck. I'm just going to select one path like this. I'm going to jump over here, go to drawing modes, click on draw inside. Of course, I'm going to need a stroke. Now let's go over here to the blob brush tool and this is also another new feature that I'm showing you here. There are new brushes available to you and if you click on new brush, this is the new brush, the bristle brush. And then you can click on pick up anything you want. I'm just going to choose fan. There's a bunch of different options available to you to edit the different brushes. And now since I have that paint inside checked, Whenever I zigzag around inside of here, it will only paint within this area that I have selected. So that's another new tool available within Illustrator. Not only can you draw like I did here with this fire truck, but you can also copy and paste directly into text without outlining the text. So let's say I wanted to take my St. Bernard here and cut and paste him directly into this text over here. All I have to do, again, I selected the text and I chose draw inside. Now I'm going to come over here, grab my St. Bernard, copy him, go over to the text again and paste. And it will automatically go directly into the text that we have here. I can resize this so that it will completely fit the text.
and you can see the St. Bernard that I had over here is now inside of the text. And a really neat feature is that I can click on the text tool and as you can see, I put a space in there, this is live text, and the St. Bernard is still seen inside of there. Previous CS4 Illustrator gave us the ability to have multiple artboards. Well, now you have the ability to edit and move around your artboards. You do that by clicking on Window and then clicking on Artboards. Then you can decide if you want to move your artboards around. Like let's say I want Artboard 1 to now appear after Artboard 3. Click on this and then click on Rearrange Artboards. And then OK. And it moved my artboards from one being there and so forth and so on. Also, what I'm not showing in this presentation, they've made some amazing changes in regards to what is called Flash Catalyst. And I'm, I'm probably going to get involved with this in another tutorial. But it allows you to create web pages directly inside of Illustrator and then import them directly into Flash. And this is a really, really, really neat tool. And the final tool I'm going to show you here, which is new with Illustrator, is the ability to really easily combine paths. So you can see here that both of these paths are separate. But if I come over here to the Shape Builder tool, click on that after I selected both of these items, I can just simply drag through both of these paths and they'll automatically be turned into one path. This keeps you from having to use the Pathfinder tool all the time like you previously had to if you wanted to do something really simple like that. So that's basically my rundown of all of the different features available inside of Illustrator CS5. Also, if you'd like me to do a tutorial on Flash Catalyst, leave me a comment down below and I'll, I'll definitely get into that. Till next time.